Now you came you came in the game in ninety two or were you already that's just when the first album hit hit the shelves? I mean, uh shit, we did uh well, I did uh one eighty seven proof in uh ninety ninety one mm. when I first re- released it. But I mean but I mean shit, I was doing albums I did an album with two short and I was like sixteen. So I mean, you know, that was the first So first you album. officially a part of the Dangerous Crew? Is that okay, is that safe are, to say? Yeah, we, okay. I, I am. Yeah, you dangerous are crew, right? the Dangerous Crew. Yeah, we. It's mm-hmm. like I mean, I've been Dangerous Crew since I was sixteen. So, you know, um, you know, even when I met rap <clears throat> met rappers uh, at the age of sixteen, uh, when I met uh, Shock G and I met um, you know a few other rappers around the Bay Area, they all they used to be like, "Damn, you know, you rap with Too Short, you too, too Short," you know. So I mean, you know, my history is is. Oh, it's deep. From him picking me up from school and all that. So, yeah, you know, um, a lot of inspiration. Um, um, inspiring shit, just picking me up, just taking me to the studio. Oh, I, I seen some of the uh, the crazy stories. Um, I think one in particular, when um, were you getting shot at right in front of Two Shorts? Was it his crib or something oh, yeah, like that? That was, that was a shootout, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely shooting back. He had like, he had, it was kind of fun. A little, I was, I didn't get shot, you know. But it, I was just kind of mad because <laughs> motherfuckers were shooting up my my car, you know. So I just tried to dome their ass, but you know they took off and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I was just screaming in the middle of the street, screaming. And I thought we was having a gunfight. I remember saying that shit, and I was like aiming at some heads. But you know they just rolled up on the side of us and started, you know, just randomly off, you know. Yeah, so I'm like, you know. Fuck these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is these niggas? You know, they ain't even shoot through the window, all bitch ass. <laughs> so you know, I just crept through the back of the um, back uh, passenger seat window, in the back window, and crawled out that motherfucker and crept around the back and started. And before I guarantee you, before they knew it, I was aiming at their heads and shit. They took off though, you know. Um, and it was just a lot of bullshit going on back then, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit happened in front of Short Studio. I mean, even even me, me you know, when I tried, I stole the car, tried to do donuts, well, I was doing donuts in front of his house. Um, I was just, you know, I was like, how the hell did he know the car was stolen and shit? Like, he was like, man, get that stolen ass car up in front of my house. And he was like, I was smoking the motherfucker out and shit. I was like, I told you I could drive, nigga, you know what I'm Cause he wouldn't let me drive the, um, the lac, you know, we had a burgundy lac with the with the white top, it was convertible, it was like a, a Barretts. It was clean as fuck, and he used to pick me up from school and that shit. And I used to be like, man, let me drive, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, nigga, I, you ain't driving my car, nigga, you ain't only 16, nigga. Um, and he'd be like, you want to smoke a joint? You smoke a joint? <laughs> he'd give me some beer and some weed, but he wouldn't let me drive the car and shit. So I decided to steal one and sort of show him I could drive. Is he the one that, did he like get you in the studio or was that something you was already doing, getting in the studio yourself? Well, the, that was um, the first real studio I ever went to was um, Dangerous Dangerous Studios. Okay. Um, where I seen actually seen the mixing board and all of that stuff and was in there just looking around. Um, that's what that was, but um, after that it was kind of like, you know, well, I want to get back up in there and do my own shit and be record my own thing. It took a while after, you know, since from 16, um, another, another what, uh, four or five years later, I dropped 187 Proof um, Independent. But, uh, you know, in, in, the midst, in the middle of that, I opened up for NWA. I opened up for um, remember Rodney O and Joe Cooley and... Uh, a few other artists that came to the Bay Area came to uh, Oakland. I opened up for them. Um, but, uh, shit, you know, eventually I had to do, go uh, venture off and do my own thing. 24, 7, 12 months a year, 365.